Cancer. It's L here to do your weekend lovely. Okay. Um, hello. How y'all doing? Um, let's jump into it. Sorry. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for coming here, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if I forget to say it, it's not because I'm not thankful. But I look at readings too. Sometimes you just want to get the message. You know what I'm saying? So let's get the message, right? All right. Cancer, this weekend is you are confronted with a decision that you made or that the other person made or that you both made to part ways, to go your separate ways. Someone is feeling some anxiety about that decision like, oh, well, now I want you back. This could be you, Cancer. This could be the other person you're dealing with. Like somebody had a taste of the freedom that they were looking for, but then it turned, it quickly turned into the nine of swords. Like, where's my partner? I don't like being out here by myself. And we all know that cancers hate being by themselves. Um, my sister's a cancer. My daughter's a cancer. Um, every man that walks up to me is a cancer. Um, yeah. Moving right along. Um, cancer, you know that this person, whomever they are, is your true love. You already know that. It's because you have true love. And then you have soulmates, twin flames. So they could be all of that wrapped up in one. I don't know. I'm not there with you guys, okay? But you know all of this, but you're not taking any action in regards to this person. Maybe it's ego. Maybe it's that this person has turned their back on you. They're coming up as the ice queen. Uh, Aquarius had the ice queen in the same position. Um. They turn it back to you. They're cold. You don't. You just don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. But it looks like you're dealing with a very forgiving heart and a very understanding person because they're saying to you, I know you're lying, but I love you, so I forgive you. And, um, yeah. But they're also, and maybe that's what they're coming up as the ice queen or this is you, Cancer. You're coming up as the ice queen towards someone. Because you're saying, look, I can't wait for you to change. I'm leaving. And then they say, I love the time we spend together. And then they might even say, your friends are jealous of us. You know, anything to keep you talking. You know, if you get the person talking, you, you got them. You know, no matter what you're talking about, you still have a level of interest. That's why I always tell people, you really want a person confused if you really want a person rattled. Be quiet. Be silent. Don't say anything to them. Don't communicate with them. Anyway, moving right along. Um, so you may say, after all this, you may say, you know what? Grow up. I mean, you're too old for this. And Aquarius had this also. Um, so you may say to this person, grow up. Because they are too old. Because maybe you have an emperor energy. 40 up. 40 plus. You know, um. They're waiting for you, Cancer, or vice versa. They're waiting for you to communicate with them, or you're waiting for them to communicate with you. It looks like Cancer, you could be waiting for someone to communicate with you, but somebody's cold. They just like, you know what? No. Just no. Just the N and the O. No. Because they're coming up as the Ice Queen and the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries person, Gem, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't know. Um, And so you say, you know what? F it. I don't want to communicate with them. I'm going I'm to offer them a little, you know, a little fun, a little passion. And maybe I'll send them something funny, you know, in text message or email or whatever. Um. Because you've kind of laid down this juggling. Do I reach out? Do I wait? And you just said, you know what? F it. I won't communicate with them. Okay? Or this could be someone else saying this. It could be flip-flop. Somebody saying this about you. Only you know how you feel. If you're at the brink of, I can't wait for this person to communicate with me anymore, then this is you. If you're not at that place, if you're the ice queen, 
Then the other person is at the, I mean, it's really not that hard, y'all. I mean, it's one or two positions. It's not eight. Anyway, moving right along. Um, you feel this way about somebody? Like you want to rush in and tell them how you feel? Or you're the ice queen? Because you know, or they know, or you both know, you guys are soulmates, twin flames. Um, but someone got tired here. And like I said, they cut the community. They cut the relationship short. You or they, or I don't know. And because they said, you know what? I'm tired of being a husband. I'm tired of being a wife. Oh, you can't see that. I'm tired of being a husband. I'm tired of being a wife. This is what they said to you. And they said, you know, I need my freedom. Um, but now they're in a place of, oh my God, I'm out here alone. What do I do? They're not talking to me. They're not communicating. They're the ice queen. Oh my God. So they're panicking right now. The cancer. You are or the person you're dealing with. They're panicking because you completely turned cold on them. Some some of you, this was a marriage that somebody was dealing with someone else or, or decided that they need a bit of freedom within the marriage. How does that work? And um, so maybe you cancel. You say, oh, okay, I'm going to shut down. I'm going to let them do what they want to do. And they're really getting a taste of freedom and how it is. And they don't like it at all. They may want to come back. They want to say, I want to get, I'm tired of juggling people or juggling the, the decision to come back or to communicate. I want my cancer back. That could be what someone is saying about you or vice versa. Okay. They want to come. So they, they stopped the, they stopped the relationship because they were tired of being a husband or a wife. Um, but this is, this is that, that, um, fragmented energy that, that uh, I hate to use the word so loosely, but that bipolar energy. Because now they say, I can't choose. They know they want you there. See, this is when people get too content with people playing positions in their life. Um, I think we need to learn all positions. And, and, and at times, relationships help you. Being in a relationship will help you learn all positions. Sometimes you have to show up to people as the ice queen. Because they do shit like tell you um, that they love the time that you guys spend together. And they rush in and communicate with you all passionately. And then they turn and say, I can't choose. And that is when you show them the door. Um, so anyway, cancer. This is what you're dealing with. Or this is you. I don't know. But... Also, they're trying to throw you for another loop or just keep you hung, just keep you, you know, you hung up on them or, or tied down in, in thought about maybe this could really work this time or maybe they're really serious or maybe they really want this. I don't know how you think about this person because then they throw this bomb on you and you know us women, we love it too. Here you go. You're beautiful. And they say, oh my God, I am. I know. Yeah. I just got my hair done and my nails done and. I'm just, yep. And we t and we run with it. You know what? When he hits you with this, just say thank you. Continue to be the ice queen because this this person this is a bipolar energy. This is a fragmented energy. This is not a whole person, a whole position. This is someone who is up and down, hot and cold, in and out. And they could have been in and out with their energy here, okay? Or this could be you, Cancer. I don't know. Um, some of you are, and somebody could try to come back and um, offer a gift here because they love you. But it, the cards are saying caution because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. The devil card talks about the choices you make, okay? Make sure it's not taking you back to a dead end. Oh, this shit didn't work again. Dead end. You know how you drive down a dead end? You can't do anything but turn back around. And that could be what you could be dealing with with this person. I hope not. I pray not. Um, this person wants you back or they want back in your energy. Or this is you, Cancer. You're doing this to someone else because um, you still love this person. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes love isn't enough. You know, you have to show it. You have to show up every day. You have to show every show up every day to work. And some of you are, are drowning yourself in that. 
or you need to drown yourself in work and tune out this person because this person is coming up as a person who loves you dearly. Um, and then finally, this could be you, Cancer, too. And then finally come to terms with their feelings about you and maybe getting over some fears and some suppressed or repressed energy or emotions. But once again, no damn offer on the table. Only an offer of some fun, some passion, um, get you all hot and bothered. And nah, I might leave that out. Um, I don't know if that's good enough for you, Cancer. Guess what? It's good enough for me, too. Um, but if it's not, it's not good enough for me either. Okay. Um, somebody may be saying all of this to you, you know, all these different energies, right? And then they turn around and you say, well, I need you to show me in your actions. And they say, I don't have time. I have to work. And this could be you, Cancer. I don't know. This is a very, this is, this is really honestly someone who wants you in their life. They see you as a long-term person because you're a soulmate, you're a twin flame. This is a true love, but they may be trying to work some things out in their own life. They may be waiting for their own shifts to come in so that they can really be a whole person for you. Or this is you, Cancer, how you feel about someone else. It's just right now the energy is too scattered and fragmented where it will drive you crazy, you know? So I would say looking at these cards, my my opinion would be to back away. You can do whatever you want to do. And um, have a good weekend. If you feel like this resonated with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. We can talk about it this weekend over the phone or Zoom. Um, be sure to let me know what time zone you're in so I can kind of match up the your phone calls. Um, yeah, Cancer. You got a good, to the core of this person, they're good. But they just, they have a lot to figure out, okay, within themselves, okay? So Cancer, um, have a really good weekend. All of the links are below to go to the website, book your own reading there. Um, if you have a question or two or eight, you can text the number below. Uh, text your question, pay for your question, all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Um, what else? Yeah, that's it. Take care, guys.